2016 Ram 1500. Hey folks, Tim Bowman down here at Pache Motors. Got a truck here I'd like to do a little walk around with. Now listen, if uh, Knight Rider had a more powerful, uh, bigger, and uh, well, I guess more attractive older brother, I think this would be him. Um, this is the Ram uh, Black Group. And uh, so it does come with the black badging. You'll see on the front, the black wheels, black side steps, black badging along the side. And the black ram's head in the rear. Being the sport package, this does have the dual exhaust. So, also equipped with a bed liner and upgraded LED box lighting. Very handy, if you've got a tonneau cover on, you simply hit your unlock button and they'll light up, illuminating everything in the box with no need to flip it or unroll it in order to see. Let's come along and get a front on view here. Beautiful truck. All right, let's take a look in the side here. I uh, just wanna show a couple of quick features here. First of all, this is a keyless enter and go, so let me lock it up here. So if I'm within five feet of the vehicle, I approach it, stick my hand in the handle, the truck is aware that I'm there and the doors unlock. Of course, there are ways um, to customize that to your liking. Could be just the driver's door that opens for security reasons or what have you. All simple to use in the settings inside the truck. Now, let's take a look inside. <clears throat> Lots of room in the interior here. Now, um, this vehicle has a nice little system. So as you'll notice, the floor is actually uneven. Uh, reason for this is that Ram is utilizing all of the floor space. There are trucks available on the market that have a flat floor in the back. What has actually happened is they've raised it, uh, taking away from the interior space, whereas uh, Ram doesn't do that. Um, it, uh, furthermore, they actually provide you with coolers and can also be used as storage space. These do remove, so you can take them out, you can uh, dump the ice, you clean them out, whatever you like, or storage containers if you have a dog, uh, dog toys, treats, what have you. So if we take a look here at the seats, um, if we need a flat system, whether it be for a dog, for uh, um, moving or storing an item out of the weather conditions or what have you, we flip the seat up here. Okay, and we take these legs, pop them up, pop it up, pop it up, and flip it down. And we now have a flat floor. And the other side flips up as well, and it does it so that you can actually utilize just one side if needed. As well, if you look down under here, that is more storage space. So when you do have a flat floor, there's still extra room. Now, in this truck, it does have the nine-speaker Alpine stereo system with a subwoofer, and there is where the subwoofer is located. Dubs as a massage chair for the rear passenger. All right, so that's that. I'll uh, just give you a little bit more in the, from the driver's view here, and uh, we'll wrap her up. All right, this truck does have your power windows, power mirrors, auto headlights. Jump in here. Very nice seven inch cluster for your heads up display. Easy to operate, a lot of information in there as well. Completely customizable. We can light this dash up um, with different gauges that can run along here and down here and here and over here and so on and so forth. So save that for another time. Um, voice recognition, Bluetooth system, your uh, cruise control as well as manual select gears located on the steering wheel on the backs of the steering wheel we have radio controls as well get a quick look at this now this the ram truck has won ward's best interior award uh safe to safe to say uh they made the right choice and easy to see why they made that choice so let's have a look down here trailer brake control heated seats heated steering wheel um we have the rotary dial for engaging into here, which is also connected to the uh, eight-speed torque flight transmission, exceptional transmission. So uh, down here, we actually have our four-wheel drive auto as well as our four-wheel drive lock, two-wheel drive, and four-wheel drive low. Standard pickup plug over here. Uh, one of the really cool features and simple, but really great. I use it constantly. Um, this is for your cell phone, and you can run your charger at the bottom. So let's follow up into here. In here, you'll see USB, auxiliary, SD, and another USB. 
So this USB is for um, both streaming and charging, and this is charge only port. And if we see these little loops here on either side, you run your cord out there and down in under here where your cell phone sits. Very handy little system, well thought out. Simple, but excellent. All right, just a brief look around here. We do have a power slide and rear window and tons of room as we already saw in the back seat. Folks, thanks for joining me on that walk around. My name is Tim Bowman at Pache Motors. Uh, you got any questions? Uh, you want to take this thing for a test drive? Give me a call at 902-798-9584. Well, thank you very much.